Well, we've got a nice Monday morning out there. Temperatures pleasantly cool for March, sitting at 42 degrees here in Lima. Most areas around the lower 40s with a few 30 showing up. 36 Minster, 38 Wapkineta, 39 in Deschler this morning. We have a warming trend, though, in the forecast. We look to the west where our weather typically comes from, and we see warmer temperatures. In fact, Des Moines, Iowa, down through Kansas City, Missouri, in the lower 60s this morning. Well above average, of course, for this time of the year in that south flow. It's really aiding in that warmth. We've got a system developing across parts of the uh, western plains into parts of the Intermountain West. We see that low pressure right there over parts of New Mexico working towards the Texas Panhandle. That's going to also bring in some severe weather today over parts of Texas, and it's going to really start to bring in that Gulf moisture across the Plain states, and we're going to see rain eventually become part of our story by tomorrow. Not today, though. Today is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Really recommend getting outside, soak it up because we do have a bit of an unsettled stretch coming our way. You can see today we're looking at partly sunny skies. By noon, we're already at 57 degrees, and we continue to climb well into the 60s, 68 degrees by 5 p.m., and a few spots could touch 70 degrees briefly later on today. So, again, if you have plans out there, it's going to be a fantastic day, a fantastic evening to maybe fire up the grill. And no concerns for rain until tomorrow morning. It looks like just after sunrise. This is our forecast model by 9 a.m., showing some scattered light showers by then, with temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s. And we'll max out tomorrow a little cooler than today. We'll be a good 10 degrees cooler tomorrow because of the cloud cover in place and those scattered light showers around the area. Not raining the whole day, though. We see a bit of a break here after that first round of rain in the morning. We see a bit of a lull later in the afternoon, and then more rain will come at us Tuesday night. I think this will be the most widespread rain of the week, Tuesday night and in into early Wednesday, with showers moving through. We'll get more scattered showers Wednesday morning. And as we take a look at your Wednesday forecast, we'll continue this unsettled theme with a bit of a break in the rain showing up. Wednesday at 1 o'clock, there's even some sunshine breaking out. That isn't the end though of our rain chances. We got this low pressure just slowly moving through and a bit of an unstable tongue of air lifting its way up from the south. And that sunshine, if it does come out, that could make things unstable enough for a few thunderstorms by Wednesday afternoon and into Wednesday evening. We see our forecast model shows a breakout of some scattered showers and thunderstorms by 6 p.m. Wednesday. And there is at least a marginal threat from the Storm Prediction Center that a couple of those could be on the stronger side. So we'll keep an eye on that. We're getting into that time of year where we need to be kind of aware of that possibility and have a plan in place. But we notice the system, it just doesn't want to leave us. Thursday, still some scattered light showers around. And these rain chances are in the forecast all the way through Saturday. Now again, the higher chances tomorrow and Wednesday, and then it's just kind of a pesky off and on light rain from Thursday and even into Saturday with a cooling trend in the forecast as well. So looking at your seven day forecast, we'll see temperatures go from 57 tomorrow to 67 Wednesday. By Thursday, we're at 51 and there's a little bit of winter left. We could even get a few flurries here early Saturday and again Saturday night and temperatures will fall back below freezing for our lows by early next week.